right, hello and welcome. I'm Chris Palmer. Welcome to Chris Palmer SEO. In today's video, I was asked by a subscriber, is there a way that we can create a SOAR backlink? How do I go about this? Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. However, I will happily lead you in the right direction. So I'm going to go ahead and give you two methods on ways that you can create um, your Zor backlinks and how you can get backlinks from Microsoft.com. So there will be two separate methods that I will walk through. Um, it is up to you on how you decide to go ahead and go about doing this. One will be a little bit more on the white hat side. The other one will be on the black hat side. So let me start with the white hat. Um, and if you stay tuned, then I'll give you the black hat version second. All right, so let's just jump right in. Um, so first and foremost, there is a website right here, uh, build a Zora URL bar. So within the recording, so free website hosting in Azure. Um, there's a site here, buildazor.com slash. Um, if you take a look here, um, it's very, very simple to go ahead. There's what they call um, a dot Azure website dot net. And what they'll give you is it's actually for hosting web apps, okay? So what's really great about this is the web apps free tier. So if we take a look here at the, um, let's just go over to Google, put web apps free tier Azure. Okay, so there's this particular way this is method one so you can try for free and you you will be able to host um a azure websites.net um subdomain so then all you need to do to go ahead and create the free website within the azure platform to create the backlink it would be very very easy to go onto google and put in um Azure website, right? So you could create and host your own static, create static HTML web app. You'd be able to create a backlink using that process. So basically, I've pointed you into the direction. Instead of making an hour long video of every single step, that is how you would go about doing this. So the key phrase is um web apps free tier so it's web apps free tier azure okay so then after that part and you sign up all you need to do is look for an html static website walkthrough i'm sure there are plenty of them i just showed you a page the top listing would go ahead and walk you through now let's go ahead and dive into the black hat version um and this is how you would host a free website so let's move on to that so this is a little bit more black hat so if you go to azure.microsoft.com forward slash en dash us slash free slash students this is a way that you can go ahead and create an html website but the process within this is you need a edu mail. Now I have a feeling that my subscriber was um, actually looking for this particular method um, because this link is possibly a little bit more powerful. Okay, I believe that it's actually a DA ninety three. So I'm going to go ahead and give you. Uh, the way to acquire an edu backlink my dog is going completely insane he wants to go out Hayes please just one moment and we will go out okay buddy he needs to go for a walk so just give me one second in any case um this is how you go about doing this guys you need an edu link to sign up here so you'll go to activate now you're going to need your edu email how do you get an edu email 
this is where you need to go. Now, generally, it's going to take you about six hours. You're going to need to sign up on this site. Now, I'm sure that you want to better your uh, education, better yourself. So I'm not going to walk through this process step by step, but I'm going to give you the pieces that you need. So where do you need to go to create this? Here. All right. So head on over here. I'm not going to say this. Um, this is completely up to you. If you want to better yourself and you want to acquire a EDU email, this is how you go about doing it. So this is where you will want to go ahead and do this. All right. So before you start, you will want to go to uh, Gorilla Mail. You could use any email that you want. You'll go right into here. Uh, new users sign up with email. And I'll walk you through the process uh, briefly. Now, you will want to remember the information that you put into here. Um, because it will come up later on. Primarily this right here. You will need to validate your email. Booyah. sure you remember your passwords too so I have to redo this all right so after you have created your account you will need to go ahead and go to this button here now you will need to pick um, one of these uh, places so uh, I have done this one before so I know that this is a relatively simple one so you will need to go ahead and apply. Whatever you put in here, the, the issue that I ran into is you're going to need the full um, zip. So when you go and do your homework, make sure you get that. You need the whole, make sure that you're starting late. Then you'll submit this particular form after you have filled it out. After you have filled out this form and everything is done, it will take you to the next screen. And I will go ahead and show you. Um, copy it down. Now, I want you to go ahead and take a look at this particular part. This is where the uh, guide will stop because you're going to have to give it at least maybe 6 to 12 hours. Um, but this is where it becomes important, and this is the part that you want. If you take a look right here, congratulations on being admitted to wherever you decided to go. Next, you will set up your student account. That is where this information comes in, okay? This will allow you to access this, this, and then here's what you want. This is what you everyone has came for. Your student email. Once you actually go to the site and create the account, okay, you will receive a student email that is an EDU. Once you have your EDU, you can then go over to this particular website here, and then you will be able to host and create your static website. Now, to go ahead and try to figure out how to do that, I'm not going to walk you through the process. It's very simple. How to create a HTML static website on Azure. Go ahead and look. 
I'm sure you will be able to go ahead and figure that out. I'm not going to walk you through an HTML process. What I've given you is two methods. One is relatively easy in White Hat. The other is a little bit more difficult and more on the Black Hat side. Now, I'm not recommending that you do either of these. I'm not saying that I have done any of these. I'm not telling you that this is something that you should do. However, if you are interested in creating a backlink on the Azure platform, I've given you two methods to go ahead and make that a reality. If you like this video, if you are curious about any other type of backlink, if there's something that I can help you with that is SEO, digital marketing, Facebook ads, PPC, pretty much anything digital marketing related or SEO, ask in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Akuna Matata.